Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for a current household update. Alrighty, so I've had a lot of people request to see my current household and I was planning on using my current household, at least one of my sims for our upcoming Get Famous LP. So I figured I would go ahead and give y'all a little bit of insight, introduction to her and her life so you're kind of prepared. Hopefully you'll fall in love with her and want to watch the LP and her journey to fame. But anyways, without further ado, let me introduce you to our current household, my current household, the Montoya family. They live here in Oasis Springs in this little trailer, which I got from the gallery, and it is so cute. I love it. <laughs> it's very run down. It's got a lot of personality, but anyways, the family consists of Sonia or Sonia, however you want to pronounce it. I call her Sonia. Sometimes I call her Sonia. It's just whatever I'm feeling at the moment, you know. But anyways, she is a single mother. Let's have her wake up so we can get a good look at her. Um, she is a single mother She who has raised both of her little girls on her own. Um, she is actually in the culinary career track. She is a caterer, so she doesn't make a lot of money. As you can see, they only have about 450 in their household funds, so they do struggle a little bit, which explains why the girls are having to share this small little bedroom. That is super freaking creepy. I hate these gnomes. <laughs> um, and, you know, their appliances and everything is not in the best condition, but, you know, this is the best that she can afford, the best that she can do. A little bit about her personality. She is unflirty, and the reason why Sonia is yeah. so unflirty is because her ex-husband, um, the girl's father, was actually a really big in the Mexican drug cartel, like, he's in prison, he's not a good dude, uh, it really hurt her, she was having to raise both of these girls on her own, and honestly, it just kind of completely turned her off from men and just women, just love in general, she wants to be independent and do it on her own, which respect, you do you, she's very family oriented, she loves her girls to death, she's a great mother, but she's very gloomy and she's kind of depressed and I think it's to do with, you know, the stress of a single mother and, you know, wanting to provide for your kids and everything, so sometimes she gets very sad and very gloomy. Alright, and then she has a teenage daughter. Her name is Taylee Montoya. And Taylee is going to be our sim for my upcoming Get Famous LP. As you can see, she's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, she just dyed her hair, actually. Uh, she did have long black hair. She's absolutely freaking gorgeous. But, um... A little bit about her. She wants to be fabulously wealthy. <laughs> and her trait, she's very creative. She's very confident, self-assured. Uh, business savvy and looks like she's going through the uh, picky eater childhood phase. What? She's not a child. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Apparently she's a picky eater. Uh, anyways, Taylee is... About to graduate high school, and Taylee has always wanted to make it big one day. She came pretty much from nothing. She knows that she doesn't come from a very wealthy family. She's had to watch her mom struggle to, you know, keep food on the table, to keep the power on her whole life. And ever since she was little, you know, she's been just obsessed and dazzled by celebrities and fame. And she used to sing on the coffee table into a magic marker. And she would put on plays for her mother. And she just always told her mom that she was going to be a star one day. And she's never let go of that dream. She's always held on to it. But now that she's in high school and she's about to graduate it's almost a reality to her which is why she's kind of changed her hairstyle she's kind of getting ready to go to del sol valley and just make a statement she's always been the one that you know it's a little bit out there she's very loud bubbly personality very i wouldn't say full of herself but she's very very confident um she's just a lot to take in she's a big personality but I love her so much because 
she's a go-getter. Like, she is a freaking hard worker, let me tell you. This girl, okay, when I first started playing this family, her little sister, Reagan, this is her little sister, I guess I should introduce you to Reagan. Uh, she looks just like the younger version with black hair of Taylee, but she's the cutest little thing. When I first started playing, uh, Reagan was actually a toddler. So, Taylee was obviously helping her mom raise Reagan. Her mom was in the culinary, or is in the culinary career, so that that means she's working long hours and late hours so Taylee would come home from school and babysit her little sister and just really you know be there to help her mom out when her mom couldn't afford to pay anybody to watch her but other than that she's also you know doing pretty good in school she's a B student she works on her grades she wants to you know have good grades and you know all that good stuff <laughs> but it was impressive to me is that she has a part-time job so she just got a promotion so she is a sales floor clerk um so she is a go-getter she works really really hard and all of the money that she makes uh, first priority is helping her mom if they need some food if they need if her mom needs help paying the bills Taylor's there to say here you go mom here's what I have and everything left over she has put into a savings and she is saving up to go to Del Sol Valley when she graduates she is out of here and I want to put her in this outfit because I love this outfit so much. Can we just look how freaking cute she is, I swear. <laughs> but, anyways, I think we need to do some laundry. Um, yeah, she wants to go to Del Sol Valley. That's the first thing she's going to do when she graduates. And she's going to make it big. She, she told herself she was. She's been telling her mom. And her mom's kind of just been like, okay, Taylee, that's great. I'm your biggest fan. I am your mother. I love you. But let's be honest. Do you really think that's a good idea for your, you know, do you think we're going to have the money? I don't have the money, honey, to send you to Del Sol Valley. And she's like, Mom, I got this. I'm going to work hard. I've been saving my money. I can rent a place. I will, if I have to sell everything I have, I'm going to do it. And yeah, her mom's just, she has her back. Like I said, she's her biggest fan, but you know, it's just, she doesn't want Taylee's to get her hopes up. But Anyways, looks like Reagan needs some advice. It says, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I'm grown up? We're going to say, start practicing your hiding. Sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, at the same time, Taylee kind of feels like uh, it's going to be hard. She knows it's going to be hard when she leaves. Um, to go to Del Sol Valley after graduation because she's not going to be there to help her mom. You know, she can send her some money when she makes money, but she knows ultimately, 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 the goal is to make it big and then help her mom out completely. You know, provide for her family. That's her goal. She wants to make it that big one day, but she's scared, but she's excited to start, you know, our life on her own um so yeah that's coming soon so stay tuned but as far as her relationships go uh she's close with her mom she's close with her little sister um and she does have like a love interest and it's bryce taylor i am playing a little simsy safe file so some of these sims you may be familiar with they're not in a relationship but they you know are little love birds they're crushing on each other they have shared their first kiss but they're nothing very serious taylee's not going to settle down because she knows She's, you know, here for a short time, and nobody's holding her back. She's not getting in a relationship. She's not going to be like those other girls in high school that follow their little boyfriend off to college and cheer while he plays football, and they just, you know, whatever. No, she's going to Del Sol Valley by herself, and she's going to make it. And Bryce and everybody else can, you know, watch her and, and mock her if they want to, but she's going to do it. And she does get a little bit of criticism from her friends because, you know, look what she... The, the conditions that she was raised in and, and that she lives but she's confident that she's going to make it and she works on her skills um all the time in between working and taking care of her little sister she works on her singing skills she works on you know her charisma because she knows that that's going to help her when she gets to Del Sol Valley so she's already preparing herself and look at her she's just a she's a go-getter I freaking love her I really really do Oh my god, but it is Harvest Fest, and um, I, I guess we could have like a dinner here. I don't know. I don't like these little gnomes. They really annoy me, but we're going to appease them. We're going to give them a, I guess, give it some pie. <laughs> 
I guess, which is uh, stupid. <laughs> but I want her to have a good harvest fest. Um, thanks, oh my god, they're so creepy. They're so creepy. But yeah, so I think we're probably going to have like a feast later. Maybe invite Bryce over. I don't know if I will show that. I don't plan on this being a very long video. I just wanted to introduce you to the family. Um, show you what I'm working with here, what I've been doing in my spare time, which has really just been preparing for my Get Famous LP and getting Taylor ready to, you know, make that big decision in her life and that big move to Del Sol Valley. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I'm <laughs> this weekend I'm going to try to work on a machinima, kind of like her graduating. Um, and, you know, her moving off to Del Sol Valley and, you know, her you know, leaving her mom and everything behind. I just, I, I'm not good at machinima. I don't practice enough, but I'm going to practice. So maybe that'll be included in part one of our Let's Play. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Uh, don't get your hopes up, though, because it might fail miserably. But anyways, I think Reagan is definitely going to miss her big sister once she leaves. And I look at her picking with her. I think that Reagan will probably be a teenager by the time Taylor graduates. So I definitely see Reagan coming and staying with us and coming to hit up the clubs with us because she is uh, very outgoing. She's very creative too. I don't think that she has this, these dreams of becoming a um a big star big actress big singer whatever it is that taylee's pursuing but i definitely see her pursuing something um in the arts maybe i see her interested in like youtube being a youtuber so i don't know we, we may explore that with her in our let's play but i'm not really sure we'll see um I need everybody else to come. I want to delete these stupid things. <laughs> so I'm going to have uh, her appease this one, give it some coffee or something so I can delete them after I make them happy. So we're going to give this one some fruitcake, which, oh God, don't give him the fruitcake. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, maybe let's not because fruitcake's gross. So let's give them a future cube. I don't know where the heck she got that from. But look, she can't even go anywhere because these stupid things. Like, we don't have room for you. Like, we don't. But thank you for the money. Thank you. It's going to help us out a lot. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, they're leaving us little seed packets. But, oh. No, did he leave? Oh, dang I And I deleted his friends. Now he left. Uh, I'm sure he'll come back. I'm sure he will. But, anyways, y'all. I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Because I'm not feeling too well. I don't know why. I just got very nauseous. I just ate something from the cafeteria at work, and that's probably why. I just, uh, it just hit me nausea, and I don't even think I can finish this sentence. But, y'all, I hope you guys are excited about this LP. I hope you guys are excited about Taylee. If you like her, please give this a big thumbs up. What do you think? Because here's my opinion. Taylee is very risky. I think she'll take risk when she gets to Del Sol Valley. Whatever it is, is whatever it's going to take her to get famous and I don't want it to mess her reputation up I don't want her to go down the wrong path but I think it's a possibility for her just getting caught up in that lifestyle I honestly do see her struggling a little bit but I do think that in the end she's going to stay true to herself and you know she's not going to forget where she came from so this is like the humble beginnings of our superstar one day we're going to start from scratch and see if we can make it there but I have high hopes for Taylee and if you do too Give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe and stay tuned for the Let's Play coming next week. I'm so excited, you guys. But yeah, love y'all and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without. Oh, his eyes are killing me. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine To be mine